Practice exercise 4.22 print acronym tells us to write a method called print acronym. It's going to accept a string as its parameter and print the first letter of each word of the string as our acronym. So we have an example here and we're going to code it and print it just like this. It's going to be a public. We'll make it static. It's not returning anything, just printing. So it's going to be of type void. We have our name print acronym. And then inside of here, we know we are taking a string. We'll just call this S for a string. And this is what we're going to be looking at. Now we have a whole string and we want to parse it. So what we can use is the string tokenizer class. We will make a new instance of string tokenizer. We'll call it str and we're going to set it equal to new string tokenizer. And we have parameters here. We're going to pass in two things. We're first going to pass in the string that we're going to look at. So we're passing in our s. And then we need pass into our, our delimiter. Our delimiter here is going to be the white space. And delimiter is just whatever separates whatever we are looking at. So since it's just a white space, we're going to have a space right here. Now we are going to need to make a new word and then print this out. So we need to make a new string. We're going to do string and we'll call this A for acronym. And we're just going to have it be kind of like null right now. We're going to run to, we're going to want to run this as long as our string tokenizer has more tokens. So as long as our string has more in it. So we're going to run this as long as our str dot has more tokens. And if you want review on string tokenizer, there is a playlist somewhere on how to use Java, uh, different things. And this is in there on how to go about using it. But we're going to basically, it's kind of like, while well, if we use a scanner, well, scan has next. So this is running it as long as there's more tokens inside of here. And then inside of here, we're going to say a plus equals. So we're appending to our acronym, the str dot, we need to get the next token. So we're going to do next token. And then we only want the first character it says, shows us right here. So we're going to do dot char at and we're going to pass in our zeroth index. We can then end this while loop. We need to print this out when it's done. So we're just going to have a system dot out dot print line, and we're going to print out our string, which is a. So we print this out and we can end our function. Clicking submit, we'll run it, and we passed one out of one test, meaning that this is it for practice exercise 4.22 print acronym. And that's all for section 4.2. And that's all for section four. We're going to now move on to section five.